Hello, hello, everyone. Good morning, morning. Morning, morning. It may it might be morning for you here in the west. It might be afternoon on the east. However, you will may feel. <sighs> I decided to stream this morning because, uh, you know, I felt like it. <laughs> so how's it going? How how are things in uh, the life of quarantine? Um, certainly here in the West, in the Bay Area, in California. Um, I don't know here in my area. I mean, it's it. I don't know if it's getting good, bad, worse. I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, I try pay, paying attention to the news, but they don't report like stuff, much stuff here. Um, what's going on, Lex West Rep? It's good that you're doing well. Um, but yeah, they don't like in regards to COVID nineteen. They don't talk much about what's going on here. Um, but anyway, today we're here to continue our underwater adventures under on SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Um, last time I checked, we were in the midst of downtown Bikini Bottom and Goo Lagoon, and I we finished those, and we did have some. Um, <coughs> excuse me, my throat is dry this morning. We did have some uh, technical issues in the first hour of the stream, um, but we managed to overcome those and made some good progress on the game. So today, um, we'll see where we go. Um, I think we are on. I, th I forgot it was like I forgot the name of the next level we were supposed to go to, but it was like the next part of the game somewhere. <laughs> but yeah. Um, just a couple of announcements um, before we get into um, into into SpongeBob. Uh, let let me see here. Hold on. Let me go to let me go to the channel here. Okay, here we go. Let me pull up my uh, handy dandy window here. Uh, not that one. <laughs> you can see me. So I have a new video up on the channel. It's like. Uh, my first uh, YouTube poop reaction video uh, since 2018. No, no, tw yeah, 2018, I believe. With my YouTube poop reaction. So go check that out. Um, it's always it's on the channel on demand. So make sure you go check that out. Um, I don't know if there will be a pot uh, Dylan Lasagna Live podcast tomorrow. Uh. There's just been nothing interesting for me to talk about. I mean, sports are are officially back today. I mean, the baseball was has been back for a week, but you know, I I'm not a fan of baseball. I think baseball's too slow of a sport for me to stay invested in. I watched a game or two throughout this past week, but without especially without fans. This is what I've been preaching for the last a couple of months when it, especially when it comes to WWE and all elite wrestling sports without fans just does not work and it's showing in a sport like baseball that if you watch this game for this long it's going to get boring real fast like <clears throat> go through one game without baseball uh go one go through one game Go through one game. Ah, oh, sorry. Let me rephrase it. Go through a game of baseball, and like, let's say yesterday's Dodgers Astros game that was on ESPN or something, and you watch that game, and like that was without fans. Then yeah, it's it was really boring. It was really awkward to sit through. And now you got the NBA coming back tonight. Um. And if you saw, you got you kind of got a preview of what to expect with the scrimmages. If you pay, paying attention to that, 
And it's, it's just like the MLB. It's pretty awkward. Sure, you can hear, like, oh, all the squeaking with their sneakers and the 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 dribbling and all that. But with without fans, there's, like, nothing to drum up excitement. There's n- nothing to rile up their energy. So it's like practice. It's like listening to players practice with each other. So... I don't know. It's just... I don't know how long people are going to be... I mean, unless if you're... You're like... Like an ESPN or a Fox Sports, then you... Yeah, you, you got to have to, like, do it. But... Uh, it's just a sad reality. <laughs> it's just a sad reality that... um Sports are going to have to continue on like this. I mean... It's, it's really sad. It's... It's really sad. Now, I get the fact that if they don't for let's say till 2021, they're yeah, they're going to lose they might they're going to lose money, but at the same time, look at it this way. You've had it, it again, if you fo- if you're following sports, um there were there's this Miami baseball team called the Miami Marlins and I believe I don't know how many players, but there were like several players on that team that tested positive for COVID-19. And that was only less than a week than when the season started. And the MLB had to postpone not just their like like their home their first home slate of games, but they also had to cancel they had to also had to postpone the New York uh Yankees. They also had to postpone the Phillies. Uh, first slate of home games. It was, it's just a mess. It and I'm, I don't want to wish upon this, but if we do get another slate, like if this does happen again, then I don't know what what's gonna happen. Like I I don't know what's gonna happen. Does is the MLB gonna have to shut down again? I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Fortunately for the NBA, there hasn't been any like positive COVID tests, and thank goodness. But again, it's just gonna be very awkward to watch. It it really is. And as much as I want to talk about this on a podcast, um, unfortunately, uh, the people that do watch my podcasts uh, uh, every Friday at four thirty, they they don't seem to be that interested. Um, they don't seem to be that interested. <laughs> Me talking about like actual sports um because they only come for like the wrestling or like when i talk about um nintendo switch or like general gaming i don't know but you know i'm a variety channel so i like to talk about like different kinds of things but you know it is what it is so well like those are my thoughts on that plus i went that's all my say on that anyway all right now that i had my said that on that uh, let's get on to the game. I mean, and I do also have like a couple other thoughts that I want to get on the way throughout this uh, live stream. And then, yeah, so there might not be a podcast tomorrow. Um, just because there's not really a whole lot of interesting things to talk about um, leading up to tomorrow. So in place of that, I might do another one of these streams, uh, gaming streams tomorrow. Um However, tomorrow's going to be a little busy um, for me. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So, all right, so let's get into the game here. Um, No, not that one. I keep getting my... There we go. All right, let's get into some SpongeBob. And I understand that Les West's rep, uh, this game was your childhood. I'm so happy for you, man. I, I always wanted to play the original, but I don't know. I love SpongeBob as a kid, I like, as, and I still love it. But I don't know. I never. I don't know why I never got a chance to play this as a kid. All right, there we go. And then also in other news, like wrestling related news, um, it looks like the Royal Rumble. I think I heard from WrestleVotes. I saw something from WrestleVotes on Twitter. That the Royal Rumble is, they're looking to change locations for the Royal Rumble. So 
there were earlier rumors that there that was going to be in Seattle. Um, hold, hold on. Let me change. Let me uh, fix the sound here. Um, let me adjust this sound. Can you guys hear that fine? Oh, you guys can't hear anything. I'm like, I have my thing off in OBS. That's why. All right, there we go. There we go. I love opening presents. Oh yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the Royal Rumble. Um. Oh yeah, they're looking to change the location of the Royal Rumble because of the pandemic. Or maybe possibly because of the pandemic. Sorry. So, I think from what original uh, rumors were saying, it was going to be in the Seattle Mariners Baseball Park. So, that might be out of the question now. because of, Possibly because of COVID-19, if it doesn't get any better. But we, we shall see. Dang, I forgot what to do here. Oh, you got it out of the supermarket, huh? Lucky you. Alright, let's go to the Poseidon. So, yeah, that... Oh, what is this? <laughs> I, I, I just noticed the uh, Sandy and Dirty Dan, Patrick. <laughs> oh, Robot Sandy, let's go. <laughs> Patrick. Alright, let's see. Our first boss fight. Alright, let's see what we gotta do here. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Oh shit. SpongeBob won't be winning that way. I'll shut up talking fish head. Ah. Hmm. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. Now the robots taking a beating out there. All right, I think I kind of know what to expect here. Boom! Hmm. Oh, so Patrick wants a chance at it. Oh shit. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Oh, so I got all right. The old clothesline move. The robot's losing its head. Oh, I got to bounce the head. Okay, here we go. Got to get the head. Got to get the head. Oh. Up we go. There we go. Shocking takedown by Patrick. Run. Sorry if I feel rusty. All right. The robot's losing its head. Sorry if I feel rusty. I haven't played this game in like, I think a week or two. Because I've been playing like other games in between. Thing moved by Patrick. There we go. Oh, 
Oh shit. I forgot to do the belly flop or the belly flop. There we go. Ah! Oh, there we go. I was like, that was such a delayed reaction. Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Come on, SpongeBob! It's a handicap match. You should be able to. Bounce and bash the head. All right, come on, we got this, SpongeBob. Spilling the old clothesline move. Oh shit! That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one. Oh shit! I... Nice. There we go. Oh damn, I keep forgetting which button to press for for jump. I'm running out of underwear though. Nice move, All right. SpongeBob. Alright, one more. Just, about over. You just need one more here. There we go. Hell yeah. Let's go. This talking fish head is a better announcer than Michael Cole. Ooh. Five dollars and thirty-two cents. What a coupon! I promised myself I wouldn't cry. What the hell? All right, first boss battle done. All right, so we got the bubble ball ability now. I wonder how we use it. <laughs> hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. Uh-oh, busted. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, <laughs> I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. God damn it, SpongeBob. Ooh, what's this? We got the bubble roll in, in this part of this. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press oh, let's this see. button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. All right, let's try it. There's nothing like a smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. It shines. <laughs> How many golden spatulas do I have? 28, so I'm too short. 
Do 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 do. I love opening presents. Press R to enter the rest home. I might find some golden spatulas here. My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be! Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I! Okay then, uh... But lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Pudding night? All right, let's see here. All right, so how do we access the murmur layer? It was probably inside there, but let's see. Let me find it on the map. Oh, I can't travel there. No bueno. I forgot how to get. Does anyone know how to get into the murmur layer? Ah, uh, checkers! The king of non contact sports! Oh! Well, look at that. I found a sock. Oh, here we go. All right, murmur layer time. Let me just uh, switch screens here for a second. That's much better. All right, here we are, murmur layer. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I only had one underwear left. <clears throat> well, 
rip. I didn't know I had one underwear left. I totally forgot about the boss battle we just went through. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about Mormon Man not being voiced by Ernest Borgene or what's his name? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <laughs> you shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick said on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. Yeah, whoever voiced the acted Mermaid Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. So why are you down here? I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office. Away! All right, let's see. It's not just any sponge. It's Don't step on the red squares of the disco floor. Okay. You've just met the spongeinator. These poles are power generators. Don't touch them or the energy beam. Alright. What the hell? This robot named Arth. Use the bubble bolt to defeat him. Okay. Oh, I, I heard his leg. Oh, damn, I almost got knocked off. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Need more underwear, though. Cha -ching! Oh, shit! That's a fail. Try again. I gotta get the high ground. this you can use the bubble bowl to turn paddle wheels okay let's speak to the murmur computer oh 
Oh yes, we need some underwear. I feel like a new sponge. Too bad you can't bowl in midair. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, it only goes to one side. Oh, there we go. See, we got it. All right. Let's see if we can get this fish, this fish hook. Yeah. Another find for Patrick. Oops. Alright. Alright, let's get back to the game. Not the SpongeBob, but the um. Fresh like a spring breeze. But to the robot. But we got a golden spatula, nonetheless. All right, let's see what this section entails. The Mermelator main computer. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes. The <laughs> wrinkly Man superheroes. And Boy. I thought they had a doctor's appointment. Why are they still here? Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed <coughs> by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelaire computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. I'll look at this place. I mean, police. Police. Them to lay down a few throw rugs and all this wasted space. How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind. I guess we didn't want the history lesson. Hmm. I guess I get I can get Patrick later on then. Hey cousin, let's go bowling. See what Murray Man wants. You're my hero. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? Hmm. I feel like a new sponge. Hmm. Let's see what. Oh shit. Must be something Patrick exclusive. Hmm. Maybe one side's for SpongeBob, one side's for Patrick. I love opening presents. It shines. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like. Victory. Oh shit. 
Totally forgot. You can't. Um. All right. Left wall jump activated. Oh what? Ah, oh, damn. AIDS. I hope it's a good surprise. Oh my god. Oh shit, I'm about to die here. Right, wall jump activated. Hmm. Oh shit! Here. I can't touch the TNT, I'm about to die. Fresh, like a spring breeze. All right, uh, let's see. I missed Patrick's sock though, so... I'm kinda fucked there. I, I just missed the jump. Oh, you don't know if it's a good surprise? Okay. Alright, so, um. Thanks for the spoiler, I guess. God damn it. Hmm. All right, come on. Oh, cool. Nice. Alright, bus stop change. Let's see who we got here. Alright, we got Patrick. Alright, who has the wall jump ability here? Okay, so we got Patrick, SpongeBob. But who has the wall jump here? Oh, SpongeBob does. Okay. Still, it's underwear. All right. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, another golden spatula. All right. Hey, cousin, let's go bowling. Bolo-rama. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermel Air. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you <laughs> listening to me? Listening! Got it! Oh, you're good. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, let's see what we got here. Okay, we need, I guess the master shutdown button is, or like all the other buttons are somewhere here. Alright, let's use this teleportation box to get to Patrick. Hmm. 
There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. All right, now let's do Patrick's side. I've got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. Uh, throw, Oof. Throw, throw the throw fruit. fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. <laughs> I mean, they tend to explode. All right. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh shit, it's like a pet. Hmm. Maybe I should go on it first and then like find out the pattern here. You see here. Go, go, go. Nice. Let's go back. Ah! Ooh. Oh, damn it. How about I don't have to do that puzzle again? Okay, good. You sure got to carry a lot of stuff around. Whoa. Oh shit. Ah, damn. I'm trying to figure out a pattern here. Hmm. Ouch. That's if there really is a pattern here. Oh, oh, there we go. Fruit. All right, let's see how bad this one is. Oh, it's, a t it's just a tilting one. Ugh. All right, not that bad. This one's see. Good thing I took the easiest one on for last. Tackle the hard ones first, and then take the easiest ones. All right, give me a fruit. Get a watermelon. more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. God damn it, Patrick. 
All right, we got half of the uh, thing. All right, let's see here. All right, we reset the towers. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, hmm. It expired. Hmm. Oh, it wants me to turn all the cylinders around. Okay. acting like I'm like <laughs> I'm like acting like Patrick right now uh, okay hmm I'm, I'm like being a Patrick right now hmm let's see I right, don't don't like I want to figure it out but don't backseat game on in this one okay that's one Let's see here. Maybe if I turn this one around. Okay, we got. Oh, okay. Um, now we just gotta figure out how which one of these. Hmm. Which one of these two f turns this these two around? I know. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. All right, let me reset here. Dang, these are hard puzzles. No joke. I turn it this way. Oh, god damn it. Hmm. If I do two or do that way, ah, oh, shit. The thing is, if I do if I do two this way, huh? If I do this way here, no, oh, it turns it around. Barnacle Boy just watching me in the background, like... <laughs> okay. Um, now, the problem is, we've got one facing the other way.
Damn, we had it, but now we now we just got one big problem. We kind of had it figured out. Ah, oh, damn it. Ran out of ran out of uh, juice there. Hmm. Just when you had things figured out, you don't. Let me hit the reset button. Hmm, how did I do it last time? See if we do it this way. And then turn it around here. No. Dang, what the hell? Hmm. Hmm. Now we're in an interesting dilemma. So which one do I flip? I think we got it. Oh no, <laughs> we're still too f over uh, off center. Ah, uh, dang, this is tough. Trying to do a center strategy, but it's not really a center in this one. Damn. Is this what the rest of the stream is going to be like? <laughs> Me trying to figure out this puzzle? Patrick, pick up the watermelon. Alright, let's see. Should we hit the one here? Or, let's see. up my strategy. Shit. Alright, let's try it again. I forgot what the, I'm being. I'm being like Patrick. It's like 
I, for, I have a strategy, but then I forget what, what it was. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck me. Flip it here. No, not there. Ah, oh, damn it. Patrick. Alright. And now reset bear. Okay, okay. Um, so one, two, three. Oh, I just reset all. Now we reset all of it. What the hell? Okay. It's these three. I know it's these three. Damn it. Ah! Ah, I don't want to. I don't want to give up on this. Like, I don't want to do like any backseat gaming on this. But it's starting to look like I need some backseat gaming. why if you're wondering why I'm doing so poorly on this puzzle it's because I have such terrible memory I, I, I have such ter terrible muscle memory it's like I don't like 
I don't know what the hell to, <laughs> to do here. It's like I'm bad at memorizing things. So, let's see. Try going there. Oh, motherfucker. All right, we're almost there. Fuck. Motherfuck. Hmm, what are we gonna do to make this one face the others? see here I ran out of I ran out of watermelon let me see here. what the hell ah no don't face the other way oh great this is wonderful oh <gasps> Oh, motherfucker! Alright, now we're back to the beginning again. Back to where it all began. I don't think, I don't know if we're even going to progress any further in this stream. Because this goddamn puzzle. Hmm. I, ah, oh, nope, we didn't get it. It's always one! It's always one! See how happens if you turn that one. Nope. Oh, we got. Oh, no. Ah, damn it. Always false hope. Well, there's always false hope that we got it, but we don't. God damn it. Which one is it? Is the key? All right, we got that. Now it's figuring out these. Let's see. There's three, six, and two. If it was nine, it would have made more sense. So it's figuring out these two.
Oh, great, that's nice. Patrick threw it the freaking reset button again. You know, at this point, I, I don't really care about if you backseat game. Like, I I just appreciate something to get me out of this level. Because I've been on this for way too long and I can't figure it out. And I don't want to, like, stop the stream just to watch a damn gameplay. Or just to watch a walkthrough. No, <sighs> that's not it either. Does Barnacle Boy have a clue for me? No, he doesn't. He probably doesn't, huh? He's like, no, I'm too old. I'm too old to help you solve this puzzle. Like, yeah. I, it's like, I don't <laughs> know, it's like, I, I don't have anything for Barnacle Boy. It's like, he's old. He's an old man. It's like, I get the Virtuosa. Ah, God, fuck. This puzzle can go straight to hell, man. It's always two. It's always two. See, even Patrick doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's like, he doesn't know what to do. <sighs> hmm. God damn it. Yes, like I like if you see me with the headphones off, that means I've pretty much given up on this puzzle. It's like I'm starting to give up on this puzzle. <sighs> we were doing so well and then this puzzle came along. Was this the surprise you were telling me, Lex West? Was this the surprise? Because this is not a pleasant one. This is just a frustratingly stupid one. I'm not surprised about that either. Ah! Hmm. I 
I'm done using that strategy. Let me try doing something else here. always one it's always one of them let's see okay it's back to three I'll make it six though again I don't know if ah oh man I appreciate you for keeping your word I appreciate it let's see here Okay, so if I flip this, if I flip these three, all three of them will flip. But I gotta figure out a way to get these two to flip, or get this one to flip backward. I mean, if I f turn this around, no, it won't work either. in the ass. Hmm. Should flip this around. Okay. Fuck me. Fuck me, man. This is not a pleasant surprise. If I turn this around, no. Ah, 
Ah, there's always one. There's always one. <sighs> you know what? I don't know if the lawnmower in the background is... Let me close the window. It's getting hot in here, but it's getting annoying. Okay, uh, let me see here. We'll give it one more shot, and if I don't figure it out in like the next five minutes, we're calling this, we're calling off the stream. It's like I've reached my, I reached the point of giving up. Doesn't make sense. Like I start here, and even if I hit it here or here in the dead center, it won't make a difference. There, there always, there will always be one. There will always be one remaining. Like, what's the strategy here? strategy is now. Motherfucker. Ah, this is so rigged. See, I knew it. It was it was gonna be one or the other. See if I do this, it flips. But if I did this, uh, let, let. there's always gonna be two. There's always gonna be two left.
Uh, all right, that's it, guys. I've given up. I've I've given up on on t on today. <laughs> yes, you can see Patrick licking his armpit. I've gi I've given up. I don't know. I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's like, even if I throw, like, just watch. You you've seen me like for like almost what half an hour. I throw it like it doesn't matter if I throw it here, 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 here. Like, like say this is my starting position. I throw it there, and then let's say I throw it here. Or, well, to find the watermelon, through. or I throw it somewhere here. It's like you're always gonna be left with one, and then let's say you throw it, you throw it there, and then you throw it here, and, and then you throw it there. You're always left with one. And you're you're practically fucked. It's like there there's literally nothing you can do. It's like what the fuck are you supposed to do other than watch a game, watch watch someone else do it? It's like that's not what we're here. That's not what we're not what we're trying to do here. But we're fucked. We're fucked. I don't know what to do. But I don't want to spend another hour of trying to solve this. But. It's like I don't know. We can't. We can't continue on. We can't continue on until we try to figure this fucking thing out. But that's another. Uh, that's another stream. That that'll be another stream. But uh, anyway, that's it for. Uh, I dropped the controller. That's nice. But that's it for uh, today. Um, go pause the game. Bring it back here. But that's a stream for another day. Um, I'm I'm so frustrated. I'm I'm frustrated as all hell that we were doing so well. We beat Robot Sandy. We get to the Murmur layer, and then it all comes crashing downhill because of that stupid ass puzzle. But thankfully, I haven't reached the point where I've gotten like really pissed at this game. Like, I've kept my cool with, like, this puzzle. <laughs> Despite how, like, frustratingly, like, how frustrating that one is. But I know there, I think there was one puzzle in the, mur I, I think it was in the murmur layer that people were having a lot of problems with involving SpongeBob. And I think it was the bowling pin one. The bowling one. I don't know which one it was, but I saw a couple of videos on that, and people were having a lot of problems with that one too. So, yeah, I'm not. I, if that's the kind of puzzle that was in this level, then I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to it. You, you should do it off. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing. I'm, at this point, I'm thinking of doing it. But yeah, look, I'm probably gonna do it off camera, and uh, I because I don't want to hold up on. I don't want to like have another stream where i'm stuck literally stuck on this puzzle solving it for like two hours because i really want to continue playing this game i really want to continue playing this game but um hopefully we can continue to do more uh swatch out battle for bikini bottom and hopefully you guys will be uh able to join me um whenever that is hopefully tomorrow maybe maybe tomorrow but We'll see. I'm, I'm going to be a little busy tomorrow. Um, but I want to do something to make up for no podcast tomorrow. Um, because there's just no um, interesting stuff um, going on right now. But hopefully there will be... A, hopefully I can stream tomorrow um, to make up for uh, the lack of podcast. But we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, everyone... Thank you all for joining me for uh, this early stream, uh, this early morning stream. Um, it's almost noon, so I'm going to eat some lunch. Um, hopefully, you guys ate some lunch, too, if you're on the east. Um, if you're on here on the west like me, hopefully, you get some food, too. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I hope you all have a good, a good day. Always be delicious. Make sure you do all the good stuff, like comment and all that all that good stuff and make sure you wash your hands make sure you wash them hands 
stay stay safe during this quarantine. If you are going outside, make sure you wear a mask. Um, don't don't be one of those people that are just ignorant, um, not wearing a mask, uh, refusing to wear a mask. Unless you are walking or unless you are doing your ex uh, regular exercise, um, then that's fine. Just um, but if you're going somewhere like that's not essential or like or if you are doing something essential uh wear a mask wherever you go and just be safe out there be safe be healthy yes and yes like lex west rep said don't be a karen don't don't be a dumbass because if you if you be a dumbass and be a karen we're, we're never going to get out of this pandemic we are, we it's like we could have been out of it by by soon well by as soon as let's say like late fall early winter but at this rate i don't we don't even know when <laughs> we don't even know when because of people's stupidity so don't be stupid don't be stupid don't don't be ignorant wear your mask no matter how no matter how you feel about it it's like it does suck it does suck sometimes wearing it but you just you just do it like uh what was it shia labeouf says just do it but that's all i got for you today <laughs> hope uh whenever i stream this game again hopefully you'll all be there to join me but anyway, everyone that's it that's it for today and i'll see you all next on the next one take care